In the toughest jails in America, black prisoners are listening to a new voice of authority. Praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds, the beneficent, the merciful, owner of the Thousands of hardened criminals are turning to Allah. We seek for help. Show us the straight path. All over the country, black Americans are converting to Islam, now the fastest growing religion in the United States. There's only one truth. There's no God but, but Allah. If a man is not serving Allah, he's serving shaitan. There's no other way but Islam, period. And all the knowledge in the world comes from this book. In the streets of America's cities, men like Rausan Tamir are spreading the word of the Quran. It's the invitation to learn something about the religion of Al-Islam from our holy book, the Quran. It's a phenomenon that has gone largely unnoticed and unreported. Islam could become the most important black movement in America since Martin Luther King fought for civil rights in the 60s. If the masses of the African-American public was to take on this religion, the revolution would have been fought and won. It's for all human beings. Because when you think about all human beings... Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allah. In ghettos which the civil rights movement passed by, a homegrown Islam is gaining converts. Islam is a new call to arms in the war against drugs, alcohol and crime. Islam is a certain way of life that it provides you with a, a blueprint for living. Ahmed Abdurrahman was a member of the militant Black Panther Party in 1971 when he was convicted of murder. He served 21 years in jail. If uh, a large percentage of our community just did the simple thing of not using any drugs and any intoxicants, any alcohol, it would in itself bring about a change in their lives. And in many African Americans who become Muslims, just that rule in itself changes their lives positively. In the inner cities, more black men go to jail than to college. Where two out of three children grow up without fathers, street gangs are the only family for many young blacks. How you doing, brother? You all right? You were Muslim now. No one don't care. Yes, sir. Ahmed was still on parole when he took us into the ghettos of Detroit. He, too, was once a member of a drug gang. Very much the way animals mark their turf, you know, gangs put signs out to tell other gangs that this is their area, to establish that this is their, their turf. Through the glamorization of it by gangster rap, it's spreading throughout the country where young people see gangs as being, uh, these kind of gangs as being one of the main ways to be hip or cool. Gang turf is not just based upon pride that you're a member of another gang, you don't come in my neighborhood. It's based upon money. We alone sell drugs in this neighborhood, and if you sell drugs in our neighborhood, we'll kill you. So quite a few of the killings that take place in the crimes are centered around the drug traffic and, uh, and the fighting among gangs for the control of the drug traffic. Brother, brother, can't you see? Brother, brother, can't you see? In some jails, one in three black inmates has converted to Islam. Ahmed became a Muslim after five years in jail. I could not deal with the stress that I was under by myself. 
Islam provides a system of brotherhood of others who are striving with you to bear what you're facing and to develop as human beings even though they're in, in an inhumane situation. How many of you have, have been here more than once? How many of you have been here more than five times? <clears throat> five million people in the United States are under the supervision of the criminal justice system. If it continues to increase, this number will soon rival the six million enrolled in the nation's higher education system. Frightening. Across the country, some of these men will return to the gangs after their release, but they all take Islam with them. It seems to offer hope of rebuilding the social and family ruins in the ghettos. I look in your faces, man, and it, and it saddens me. Because every time I look at you, I see a fatherless child. How many of you have children? If you're in here, who's guiding your babies? You have become Satan's, the Shaitan's instrument to take your children and fill up the prisons with. Young prisoners claim Islam will change their lives. A lot of the youngsters in my age, we are not, we're not really addicted to drugs. We're addicted.